Welcome to Compliance Made, the most comprehensive management solution designed for back of the house monitoring for restaurants and food service operations. Compliance Made's focus is to provide real time monitoring both of equipment and standard operating procedures within a restaurant. This includes remote temperature monitoring of coolers and equipment, HACCP control, real time reporting of list completion, and improved store management using today's technology incorporating friendly, easy to use graphics to interface with the user. Team members can quickly and efficiently work through a variety of checks they conduct on a daily basis, gathering all the data as required by corporate policy in a digital time-stamped format. This data is transmitted via the internet to a secure site whereby it can be reviewed real-time anywhere in the world via a web-enabled device. Missed checks and anomalies in the data can trigger various alerts from store level up to corporate level to promote compliance. Compliance Mates Cooler Monitoring utilizes the latest in wireless technology to provide a continuous and real-time understanding of cooler performance and alerts when the equipment operation is not within specification. The Compliance Mate system is specifically intended for back-of-the-house operations. We automate your concepts food safety processes to provide necessary data capture, ensuring tasks are completed to your brand's requirements. Our system is highly configurable and flexible. You tell us how you want the system to work for your operation. The ROI calculation for the Compliance Mate system begins with the overall management gains, optimized equipment performance, accountability, and overall protection of your brand. These are our customers and soon to be added. Let's see what some of our customers have to say. Compliance Mate is a, um, it's multifaceted, but right now we use it for a couple of different things. Temp monitoring, obviously, and then we use it for um, uh, the ability to track uh, activities, uh, tasks, manager tasks that we have to do inside of our restaurant. So your manager workbooks, which are egg cards, fox hunts, your parking lot sweeps, your CDRs, uh, that we do weekly, a lot of different things that, that Compliance Mate's been able to add uh, so we can do that on a handheld device. So, I mean, it would take hours to tell you what Compliance Mate can do for us, but we've thrown all, all that into a Monday report that we can just now track Compliance Mate completion. And that's an email that's sent to us by Compliance Mate every Monday morning. We throw it over to a spreadsheet on our QTD report, and we're now looking at exactly what store got what done. And uh, if it's below 90% of completion, that's a phone call by me. So it's a fantastic report, and it's able, we're able to, to get that data fast. It is easy. I mean, it, it's, it's for, for someone to walk around and be able to hit one button, and I hit another button, hit another button, another button. And uh, you know they they should already know how to take temperatures of products. I think we you know we make sure we got people that can do that at least. Um, but it, you know it can be handed to any individual. It doesn't even have to be a manager. It can be handed down to a you know to a line employee that can handle it because in the sense it's very easy to read. It flows very well. Um, and like I said, the system does you know it's simple as pushing a couple buttons and stuff like that. Um, and then on top of that, added in the extra part about the uh, automated sensors um, that takes a you know a whole bunch of time out of out of uh, you know gives back a whole bunch of time to the managers where they don't have to go in and temp the equipment anymore um, or don't have to take the invalid reading of a, a potentially a monitor on the cooler is giving a bad reading to begin with they've got automatic information that's being dumped into the program already so um, that saves them a lot of time so ultimately in the long run you know the goal here when this was brought on board was to reduce, was to increase food safety awareness and protection for the brand, but also figure out a way to reduce the time the managers have to do that. And this system solves or answers both, or gives, you know, answers both questions for us and, and gives us that benefit. We have 26 stores. It really helps us monitor our food quality um, and, and our food safety. We do that twice a day. We start with the managers doing that, and then we teach our hourlies to do it as well. So uh, not only does it help us with our food safety, but it helps us train our staff to our standards of safety and quality. When you're going through and you're doing your, uh, your, your, your timing and temping items, um, there's sensitivities on the screen that says the green beans should have 
uh, pepper flex apparent and some bacon. It, it, it's a training tool as well as to what our standard for the food is. So you're temping it, you want it, uh, in, in the case of uh, bacon, you know, you want, or, or uh, green beans and bacon, you want it to 165 degrees. But um, it also has the sensitivity of the food, what we want the product to look and taste like as well. So it, it's a huge training tool. And we've got to make sure that we are serving quality food, safe food to our customer. Um, we have to give our staffs, our individuals working in the store, the right tools to be able to do that. Um, there's an education piece, which is very important, and you can educate and teach so much to these people. Um, but ultimately, in the long run, you have to have some safeguards. You have to have some ability to track what's going on. Um, you know, and given these, given the stores these tools, the compliance made tools, and the different things that are involved in compliance made, give the company as a whole that safety that we really need to have that extra layer of protection. Um, so when you know, so we can um, address issues that potentially can come up. Um, we can prevent issues that potentially could come up. Um, and then we can really make sure that in the long run, our stores understand the importance of food safety through the use of these tools. Hey, you get this such and such time to do this fox hunter egg hunt. And they were getting them done at 100% completion. But then when we put the time constraints on it, Zaxby says it's gotta be done from 10 to 11. And we now put that time, you know, time slot in there, and nobody was getting it done. We started realizing that, man, this 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 intended task that was supposed to prepare ourselves for guests really wasn't getting done when the get before the guests were showing up. So we had a lot of, um, you know, we had to manage that. We had to train that, coach that. So what we feel like it's doing more than anything is it's real. It's giving us real data now, so we know that we can get the job done in those time slots because we've had to go out and train it because. Once it's 11 and you didn't get it done, that's an X, and it, it's not completed. So um, I think more than anything, it's, a, it's given us a realistic measuring stick on how we, we were doing and how we're doing now. The monitor piece will save you money. Equipment breaks, you'll have breakers trip, um, and you need to know that. So uh, we've had issues where our walk-in coolers went down, we've been able to respond in an hour. Uh, uh, last year it happened overnight around 2 in the morning. Managers leave at 12.30, went down at 2. We wouldn't have came in until 7 o'clock. It would have been over. All that food would have been in the danger zone. But we got a call. I want to say it's from Chicago. Um, so we got a call from a gal who said, hey, it's temping at 50 degrees and dropping fast. And I'm like, uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Got in my car, came out here. And sure enough, it, it was down. So we got, it, we got a mechanic out right away, got it fixed, saved a lot of food. It's able to give us real-time temps uh, every 15 minutes on where our temps are going. Uh, we can look at our, our systems and see are they going into defrost mode at the same time. Is the defrost mode going on at the wrong time? There's so many times where we've had to go in and adjust this uh, factory equi equipment from factory to change its settings because it was going in at defrost when we were opening the door more. So like you don't want a system to go into defrost mode in the middle of lunch when you're needing to open the door as much as you want it running at that time. So we was able to fix those things. Uh, product that would have, in the old way, old days, gone bad. So we've had uh, some issues with walk-in coolers. Our store um, at Summit Square was uh, getting ready to open up. And the couple nights before, we got an alert on our phone. Walk-in coolers are, are climbing at 55 degrees and climbing. Um, we were able to um, take the product, move the product around, never lose a case of, uh, of anything. And you know, the old days, we would have just walked in the next morning and been like, oh my gosh, we've just lost all this product. So it's just a fantastic tool. Um, and it is just uh, something that gives us a lot of um, just security and comfort knowing that we've got that. They usually want 30 days on file of line checks. How do you know your food's safe? What is your system? And then when they see a system like this, they're, they're, they're very happy with it. Between the, 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 uh, the pad where we do our actual check-in and, and, and the monitor system, with the monitors and the coolers, they, they like that a lot.
they know we're taking it serious. One thing that Five Guys likes to do is be on the cutting edge of anything. You know, try to be always ahead of the game. And you know, my, my goal is always to be one uh, one version of the food code ahead of you know whatever it is. Um, you know, and so when paper logs were introduced and were required, and or, you know when we talked about paper logs and a lot of health departments said, hey, you got to have some kind of documentation. We were already there. Um, the technology, how, how technology as a whole has advanced. You know, I don't see this. I don't. I don't see. I don't see things taking a backward step in any sort of way. I definitely see things, see things taking an advance. I see even these kind of devices being even more advanced as time goes along. Um, you know, being able to utilize. You know, you know, being able to um, take readings of sanitizer solution and being able to track that information, fry oil temperatures, grill temperature, and being able to capture all that information and boom and have it in some kind of you know, and, and warehouse it into a, you know, to where, you know, everybody can view it and we can figure out what's going on. Um, you know, it's so, it, it, the question is, is, is this, this is the way of the future? Uh, absolutely. You know, one thing that's impressed me from the beginning uh, with, with you guys has been you guys are never in a box. You're always wanting to grow and you're always wanting to develop yourselves. Um, from putting a CVR system, which is our core value report on there, to where we can do it. Uh, things, you, you've been able to really make it work for us and make it our system. And I think the workability of compliance makes what gives it such a value. It's not just a cookie cutter device. It really, it's open to whatever you need it to do. And I'm sure there's other um, customers that use it that they could say the same thing and they will say the same thing. And I think compliance mate, if you use it the way it's intended to be used and all the different things it can do, I think there's a lot of protection and security in it.